Hi everyone. In this video we will show you how to customize your pilot theme and we'll just start off with the very basic um, steps of adding content, creating your website navigation, and um, a few additional options. So first of all we're going to start off with adding the logo to the website and we'll need to go to our back end and we'll click on flow theme we'll click on styling and here we can have our logo so we'll, we'll select an image logo we'll click on choose file we'll select our logo Click on Upload. Scroll down and click on Use this attachment. Logo Retina, yes or no? I'll click on No. And we'll go to Update our settings. If we go back here, refresh our page. Here we have the logo I've just added. Next off, what we need to do is um, create basic navigation pages. So we'll go to Pages and click on Add New. Here I have a list of pages we need to add. So we'll go with Galleries, Blog, Resources, About, and Contact. So our first page will be Galleries. We'll add that here. For our page template, we'll select the latest galleries, categories, and it'll display all of our categories. We do not want to have a, a slideshow on our main gallery page, not just yet. So we'll click on publish. Next page we're going to add will be our blog. So here we'll go with blog posts and we'll publish this page. Our third page is resources. I'll leave this at default template. Actually, I need to click on add new. Sorry about that. Resources, leave it as a default. Click on Publish. Next page will be the About page. Here's some About text. Template will be left as default. We'll click on Publish. And our final page will be contact. Contact page with a template as contact form. Over here we have additional options, but I'll leave this blank for now because I'm just getting the menu started. So we'll click on publish. Next off, what we need to do is go to appearance and click on menus. Since we've never created a menu before we don't have any options to adjust pages here so we need to click on create menu. We need to add our menu title so it'll be main menu and we'll select all of these pages but the sample page and click on add to menu. Now we can sort the order of our menu so we'll put galleries, blog, like 
this and we'll click on save menu. Now we can, can go back to our home page and refresh it. Whoops. What I forgot to do is go here and select our menu. So we click on save. Save menu again. Go back to our home page, refresh it. And here we have the menu I've just added. So if we click on blog, we have a blog galleries, contact page, and the about page. Okay, so next off, what we want to do is start adding our social media links. So we'll go to flow theme and click on social networks. Here I have my social media links. I'll paste them here. Twitter, note that it's not necessary to insert the full Twitter URL. Just insert your Twitter uh, ID. And for Instagram, you can copy the full URL. All right, we'll click on update settings. If we go back to the home page, refresh it, we will not see our social medias come up just yet. Um, so don't be afraid if that happens. What you'll need to do later on is go to footer settings and activate the social media links which you want to display on the footer. So I have selected here Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll click on update settings. And now we have our social links. All right, next off, what we need to do is set our home page. So once again, we'll go to pages, click on add new. And publish it. Now we'll go to settings. We'll go to reading. Because as soon as you install a WordPress theme, usually the home page set as a default is the blog page. What we want to do is change that order and have the blog page as the blog page and have the home page as the home page. So we'll need to go here and click on static page. For the front page, we'll select home page. And for the posts page, which is the blog page, we'll select blog. And we'll click on save changes. So now if we go here and refresh this page, we'll see that the home page is empty. Okay, so going back to our all pages, we need to make a quick modification to the home page. We'll scroll down. Actually, we need to click on screen options. Open up the comments field or discussions and we need to disable these discussions so here we have a completely blank home page and now we are ready to fully uh, start adding content to the website since we've added um, the very basic pages we need to work around with